There you go, Mo. Good. We have a job to do. And there's certain parts of that job that we have complete control over. We're going to look at our day's work, we're going to know what we have to get done, and we're going to go do it. And then all of a sudden something happens that was out of your control. And now you could focus on that and completely eliminate your opportunity to go do the things that you're supposed to do, or you can stay focused on what you control. Every single day something happens to me as a head coach, I didn't plan on that happening today. And so the rest of my day can't be shot because that went down. You know, I have to be able to uh, multitask, you know, and, and deal with and, and delegate things so that I have a productive day regardless of what happens. And, and same thing with our football team. You know, we didn't plan on throwing an interception here, but we can't worry about it. We got to know, okay, defense is up, go stop them. Offense, let's learn from it. Let's get ready to go score. We have to learn as people, you know, these players all want to be starters. Well, you can't have 115 starters. And so what's my role in this game? Well, all right, well, I'm going to control that. I'm going to be the best I can in that so that the team can win. Instead of getting into a self-doubt, self-pouting mode, where now I'm worrying about how, why am I not playing? I'm not playing enough. I'm not getting this. Well, what do I got to do to play more? I got to practice better. I got to produce more. I got to be better in the meetings. I got to have better opportunity in the classroom to present to my coaches so they trust me more, you know, and focusing on the things that you can do instead of the things that you can't. Oh, wow. Look at you. You got a ram. What made you do that? A lot of reasons. A comfort you wouldn't believe. Luxury everywhere you look. Not to mention legendary Hemi V8 power. Maybe I should switch. More people are switching to Ram trucks than ever before. And now get a $1,000 bonus cash if you make the switch during Ram Power Days. And now get an average 11,578 in total values on the 2019 Ram 1500. Best tailgate, brisket. No, real football, y pollo asado. Hoops and wings, dude, subs. Hot dogs. Chili dogs. No, Dodger dog. It's gotta be crawfish. Now you talk burgers. Seven layer dip. Ribs. No contest. Hummus. Hum what? You need a hot grill. And an ice cold Coke. Of course. Football and Coke, come on. It's got to be Coke. Game day. Race day. Calls for Coke. You know it. Grab yourself a Coke. It's tailgate 101. The old saying, good things come to those who wait, is just that, old. Those good things, you have to get out there and chase them. We see it in the millions of people we fly around the world, all of them, living proof. Good things come to those who go. With today's tools, all the information you need is just a click away. I'm going to show you how to remove the... And as a member of an electric cooperative, you have access to lots of valuable tools. Tools that help you do it yourself when it comes to controlling your home energy use and budget. Leaving you free to be dad. You know, 
I told the whole team the same thing. Let's get back to being us. And uh, it is what it is. I mean, as much as we wanted to win that football game, we didn't play well enough to win. And they did. And everybody has to own that and move on. You can't let it beat us again. You know, when you're playing in a, a game of any sort against a good opponent, you have to play to the best of your ability. You know, you have to make the plays that are there to make, and then you got to make a few that aren't and uh, create some plays. And when you play anybody, I don't care who it is in the ACC, you've got to be on point, and you can't turn the football over when you're driving. You can't, you know, have guys drop passes that they always catch. You know, I mean, it's just basic stuff. It's, it's what you have to be able to do, and it's what we've done. And I think that's the biggest thing I told the guys. You guys are a really good football team, and you just do your job. And we just got to get back to that. You can't ignore what happened. Obviously, we didn't play well. Um, and I thought we were prepared to, to play the way we've been playing, and we just didn't, you know, so we address it. But I think the most important message of that is we need to get back to who we were quickly and not, you know, dwell on it as much as you're disappointed. But we're a 5 and one team that has a lot of teams on our schedule we want to beat. And we can if we just play the way that we've been playing. And, uh, play with confidence and execute to the best of our ability and play hard and we didn't do those things in that game and, and to win at a place like that you have to play almost a perfect game and, and we were far from that. And, ha and half the time I can't understand what they're saying anyway so it doesn't matter. Oh, this, this mumble rap. I, I catch like every other word. Yeah, I'm way too old. Precision and attention to detail, those are the difference between becoming a, a, the difference between a good player and a bad player and when you're when you're precise about things and you're paying attention to the to the details of, of what you're doing and you're paying attention to the details of the things that are going to affect the accuracy of what you're doing say when you're talking about a player their eyes their feet their hands paying attention to all those details along with having a great attitude um, along with having you know a great work ethic along with being um, just having a consistent um, drive and passion for the game along with that precision and attention to detail helps them just to become, a, not just be a good player, but to become a great player. And those are things that you have to continually talk to them about that if you want to take your game to that next level, you have to be precise and detailed about the things that you're doing. A lot of guys will have that we're recruiting. They'll have that that natural ability to play the position. That's why we recruit them. They'll be able to transition. They can run. But the guys that are going to pay attention to the details of the game and become a student of the game are the guys that are going to be able to maximize that gift. So we're looking for guys that not only have the natural ability but have the, the mindset mindset to maximize that gift. Stay up, Link. Stay up, Link. Quick, using your hands. Hey, quit depending on your hands. Keep going, keep going. Ba 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 ba. Get it out. There you go. Good finish. When you do stuff right, there, there's nobody that can beat you. We just gotta have our eyes in the right spot and play with the technique we're coached to play with. It's that easy. In this game, that's all it's about. It's about technique. Usually, you know, when you're young, you think you have all the answers and you think you have it all figured out. And then it's just, um, it's just usually that aha moment when, you know, one of a coach just points it out to you that that how good you can be if you paid attention to the details and, and being more precise in everything that you're doing to take your game to another level. For me, it was, it was more coaching and, and me accepting the coaching to take my game to another level. You become a, a good player when you learn to, you know, when you learn to critique yourself. And once you learn to critique yourself, um, and, and be real with yourself and take the coaching and listen and try to emulate what the coach is telling you, that's when you take your game to another level. And for myself, huh, um, it didn't happen right in the beginning. It just took, it took maturity, which it does for a lot of guys. It usually takes them um, a year or two to, to develop that maturity to accept the coaching to, you know, to take their game to another level. There's, there's not a whole lot of them that come in as true freshmen and, and have that ability to take the coaching and critique themselves and be real with themselves to take their game to another level as quick as you can. So the quicker you learn to mature and critique yourself, the faster your game is going to mature and grow. A lot of these kids were really good and they've been recruited at a high level and they've been told how great they are for so many years and then they get here and then everybody's 
it's kind of a level playing field. So you have to do extra things to really get to that level that they just came from. So as a coach, I have to not only teach them the skills of playing the game, but I also have to be a mentor to them to help them to develop as not only as football players, but as young men, because a lot of the things that they are going through with to become a good player are the same things you're gonna go through to succeed in life. So you have to, you know, have to use football you know, right there along with to teach them life lessons. And that's part of, you know, that's just part of what we do. And that's, that's what makes it fun because you're dealing with these young men where every day they come in, it's a, it's a new day. So sometimes you tell them one thing one day and then they come in and they've forgotten all of that. So you have to continue to, to teach them and to continue to help them grow. And, and the repetition of everything uh, usually helps them to, you know, to get over that hump to become a better man and to become a better player. There you go, come on, you all right, you all right? There you go. Hey, good reaction. Good reaction. I can tell you, your eyes are great. You were matching the route. Just finish it. Ah, come on, guess. Don't guess. Don't guess. Don't guess. See how he's guessing? Don't guess. Eyes to the core. Eyes to the core. There you go. Stay with him. Nobody's looking back at the cue. You got your own game going on outside. Time out. The ball boy gets the water. He drips a little water on it. Oh, indoor means perfect conditions? I don't think so. Go get, Go it. get it! Go get it! They got fans in there. I just always look at this place as like a lab. You know, you come in and do your work, and there's so much that tied into it, so much concept, so it's like you're in a lab. I think I'm mainly motivated for my dad. Just growing up, seeing him working nine to five every day, six days out of the week, and then he always just taught me the value of hard work. Wherever you're going, you put your mind and effort towards it, and it's eventually going to pay off. Every day is the same driven person. Comes to work the same way, practices hard every day in the weight room, every day working hard. You never have to ask him, you know, did you work hard today? You know he worked hard. I mean, that's just, to me, it's, when you have a talented player that has unique work ethic, it's special to be around a guy like that. He's bought into the process that no matter what happens Saturday, if he played really well or didn't play really well, he's going to go back to work because he wants to play well in the next game, regardless of what just happened. And he understands that mindset, you know, and if he's disappointed in his, in his performance, he's going to work even harder to play better. And if he played well, he wants to repeat it. How you feeling? Good. Good. Yeah, how you? Good, man. Another opportunity, baby. Every day. No matter what happened, good or bad, you have to flush it out, come back, ready to work. I mean, honestly, of course, you're definitely motivated after a win because you, you're just feeling better emotionally. And after a loss, I feel like that's where it really shows you who you are because you have to dig even deeper, so you really have to know your identity. So a loss definitely makes you look back on things and try to, like, flush out the bad stuff and go revert back to who you are. Honestly, it's a daily challenge. It helps you not to fall off. Just trying to pay attention to the details and trying to find a new thing just to be great at. So I think it definitely helps me because Coach McDonald always pushes me. And I always do it after practice, like no matter what. So it's always something, because if you don't use it, you're going to lose it. So I feel like it's always something you can tune up on. Like you can never catch enough balls. You can never catch enough touchdowns. What? It's your job today, catching the balls, man. Keep it up. Two five win teams going for ball eligibility at their place. It's going to be a great crowd. It's all about us being our best. Our mission's about being the best us we can be one day at a time, right? Yeah. At the end of the year, you look back and see where you end up. But you can't get ahead and you can't go backwards. It's about tomorrow now. Some of you guys are getting opportunities. I can't wait to see you play. Take advantage of the opportunity. All right? Everybody else, just be better than you were. What's the best me look like? Put it on tape. Put it on tape. Best tailgate, brisket. No, real football y pollo asado. Hoops and wings. Dude, subs. Hot dogs. Chili dog. No, Dodger dog. It's gotta be crawfish. Now you talk burgers. Seven layer dip. Ribs. No contest. Hummus. Hum what?
You need a hot grill. And an ice cold Coke. Of course. Football and Coke, come on. It's got to be Coke. Game day. Race day. Calls for Coke. You know it. Grab yourself a Coke. It's tailgate 101. The Learfield Director's Cup. The highly recognized mark of distinction in college athletics across all divisions, both men's and women's sports. Follow your favorite team's pursuit for excellence in this prestigious annual award through thedirectorscup.com, USA Today, or at L Directors Cup on Twitter or Facebook. Learfield Directors Cup, the crowning achievement in college athletics since 1993. If you want a car from a company that's been building them for 115 years, get a Ford. If you want Waze and Amazon Alexa compatibility, get a Ford. If you want a car that doesn't have any of that, get anything but a Ford. Otherwise, you're going to want a Ford. Right now, get a 2018 F-150 with 0 for 72 or 11790 in total savings only at your Carolina Ford dealer. With today's tools, all the information you need is just a click away. I'm going to show you how to remove the... And as a member of an electric cooperative, you have access to lots of valuable tools. Tools that help you do it yourself when it comes to controlling your home energy use and budget. Leaving you free to be dad. Welcome to Syracuse, New York for an ACC Atlantic Division showdown. Seven ACC teams started today with five or more wins, and two of those teams are going to knock heads here tonight. For NC State, the Wolfpack needs a win to stay within striking distance of first place Clemson in the Atlantic Division. Syracuse is looking to become bowl eligible for the first time since 2013. It's all about executing, boys. Let's go do our job. Play our brand of football. Have fun doing it. Everybody got it? Yes, sir. You know what to do now. Go do it. Do your job. As hard as you can do it. Great detail. Quick throw over the middle. Sean Riley's got it. Riley to the 30-yard line, down to the 25. Elmore's in the backfield. Split back shotgun. Here's Dungy throwing in. So broken up by Chris Ingram. 17 might be it all. They're about to run the feet. The feet. Here comes the rush. Dungy's going to run with it. He's wrapped up by Pratt and slammed down back at about the 11-yard line. Out of the hold of Nolan Cooney. Ball is in the air. It is good. Wait, hey, way to buckle down there at the end. Hand off fake to Gillespie, and throwing a slant is Finley, and he's got Harmon fakes. He's back to throw. Has time. Guns it long over the middle. Caught by Amethi. It's right at the 30th. Syracuse to 20. 10 5. Touchdown. What I tell you? What I tell you? Here's Dungey going to throw the deep ball. The bomb over the middle. Got a man open. Caught. 35 30. 25 20. 15, 10, 5, touchdown. As Dungy on second down will throw it long down the right sideline. Got a man open. Custis catches it stride at the 15. He will hand it away to the short yardage back. That's Javion Howard. He goes over the left side into the end zone. Touchdown, Syracuse. Second and long against the Blitz is uh, in the pocket, and he's going down for a sack. Hey, I see you, boy. Here's a pitch going to Strickland. He will throw long down the sideline. Got a man open. Riley's got it. 25-yard line drive down at the 20. And here comes a rush. He floats the right corner end zone. Got a man open. Ball caught. Touchdown, Custis. Almost second. Right there. So it's second down. 12 yards to go for the 23. Here comes pressure, throw over the middle, caught by Harmon, and Harmon dragged down from behind. Two-man blitz, they pick it up, Finley firing, ball is caught by Harmon at the 40-yard line, lunges forward to the 42. First down to 10 for the 41. Here's Finley chucking it to the left side, caught by Amnesi across the 45, the 47-yard line. Ball in the Q's 23, Finley to throw again toward the right side, like caught by Thera Thomas. Ball is down, good uh, snap, good spot, and the kick is good. Here's Dungey out of the gun, looks over the middle. Now he is flush, he's gonna take off up the middle and he's dragged down. Here's the snap, pack on a blitz, throw over the middle, broke it up and a great play by Moorhead. Finley under center, will fake uh, two handoffs, back to throw, firing long down the field, Harmon's open, he's got a 25 yard line, 20, cuts it back inside of the 10, five, touchdown, Wolfpack. 
Out of the gun, quick throw out to the right side to Butler, and he is hit hard by Ingram. Back rushes forward, Dungey in the pocket, he's going to scramble, he's going to run. He's to the 30-yard line, heading for the sideline. Big hit by Jarius Moore, had to knock him out of bounds into the pack bench. Great rally up, man, great play. Here's a long throw, right side, caught by Harmon and Stein. Harmon at the 30, brought down at about the 29-yard line. He looks, he looks, he looks, he throws, sideline, caught by Myers, great catch and double coverage. Myers makes one man miss, down the sideline, makes two man miss, down to the five yard line, finally brought down from behind. 28 yard field goal attempt near the left hash for Dunn. Ball down, kick on its way, it's got plenty of distance, and it's right down Broadway. Here's Dungey looking, plenty of time, he's gonna tuck and run, he's to the 40 yard line, still moving, 35-30, down the right side, and just runs out of bounds. Good snap, ball down, kick on its way. Got plenty of distance, and it is right down the middle. He got it as the clock goes to zero. That's the end of the first half. Halftime score, Syracuse 27, State 20. If they convert, it, it's going to be freaking right now. If you see a hand coming up, whoever, who, one of you stay at nickel, whoever was in at nickel, right, and the other guy is out of the game. One half of football left, what are you going to do for each other? All right, we talk about straining and how fast the physical we play. Who's going to strain the longest? We're two red zone opportunities away from being in the lead right now. That's how we got to look at it. We got to finish in the red zone. So step it up in the run game. Y'all can do it. If I didn't believe y'all could do it, I wouldn't call. Hey, Chad, it's on two. One, two, three. Go get him. Let's go. Here is Dungey back to throw on first down. Guns it over the middle and a sliding catch made by Hakeem Johnson. Tighten up, trip, trip, tighten up, trip. Here's Dungey out of the pocket, throws up the middle, caught by Riley. Power eye formation, handoff, Howard over the right side, Howard to the goal line, stacked up by Moorhead and thrown back. Syracuse lines up quickly, quarterback sneak, hits a Syracuse touchdown. Handoff to Bodine, he'll flip it back to Myers, now to Finley. Finley will throw along, got a man wide open, Angeline down the right side, line 30, to the 20, to the 10. Offset pistol, handoff going to Brady Bodine, and he's into the end zone, touchdown. Here's Dungy, handoff to Strickland, up the middle, runs right into Pratt, and then another defender knocks it back. Dungy to throw, out of the pocket, comes it over the middle, caught by Johnson. Handoff is fake, Dungy to throw, he's got a man open down the right side, Harris, he's into the end zone, touchdown. But it's about us. It's about us doing our job and doing it together and doing it hard. So there's a lot of damn football left, man. You guys saw what can happen in the first quarter. Just keep trying to stay after it and let's get together. Here's the shotgun snap. Gillespie on his own run right. He breaks into the secondary 40-yard line and out to about the 43. Out of a one-back pistol. Play action faking is Finley. Here comes the rush. He guns it right. Caught by Harmon. Harmon trying to get away. Rewinds to the left. Finley will throw right toward the lone wide receiver. Harmon's got it. It's a 25-yard line. He will uh, fake the handoff, back to throw, fires right corner end zone for Angelotti. Touchdown, Tuddy. Tuddy. Man in motion, here's Finley, handoff, Gillespie dives for the end zone, and he is in for the touchdown. Tuddy, Lord, hey! Hey, let's go now. Here's the snap on second down, Dungy to throw, now he's pinned in and sacked by Pratt, all the way back near the 25-yard line. Here comes the rush, he floats it over the middle, caught by Riley, 50 yard line, pulled down from behind of the Wolfpack, 45. A 41 yard field goal attempt, good snap, ball down. He gets it up high, it's good. Nine minutes left, let's go boys. This is my over, bro, let's go. Here's Finley, looking left, firing toward the sideline. Myers has got a 30 yard line, 35 and out of bounds. Two man blitz, handoff goes to Gillespie, runs uh, right through the blitz and out across the 40. Here comes the blitz. They pick it up. Finley firing long down the right side there for Harmon. He's got it. 20 yard line to the 15. Dropped inside the 10 at about the nine yard line. Arms out, reach, takes the snap, fires right corner, red zone. Caught, touchdown, Kelvin Harmon. Hey, we gotta win it now, we gotta win it. Get some water, let's go. Let's go win the game, baby. Let's go win the game. 244 to go, down by three here at the Carrier Dome. Get Finley and the offense get it done. Here's the snap. They rush three and drop eight. Finley hit firing, picked off by Andrew Armstrong. 
Dungy calls for the ball. He hands it off to uh, Strickland. Strickland into the end zone. Touchdown. Big hole over the right side for Dante Strickland. And that's it. Syracuse wins. It's times like these when you've got to stay centered. The 2018 Nissan Rogue with available Pro Pilot Assist that can help keep you centered in your lane. Experience it only at your local Nissan store. Now the most exciting tech you own is in your driveway. Get to Nissan, proud supporter of college athletics. Best tailgate, brisket. No, real football, y pollo asado. Hoops and wings. Dude, subs. Hot dogs. Chili dog. No, Dodger dog. It's gotta be crawfish. Now you talk burgers. Seven layer dip. Ribs. No contest. Hummus. Hum what? You need a hot grill and an ice cold Coke. Of course. Football and Coke, come on. It's got to be Coke. Game day. Race day. Calls for Coke. You know it. Grab yourself a Coke. It's tailgate 101. With today's tools, all the information you need is just a click away. I'm going to show you how to remove the... And as a member of an electric cooperative, you have access to lots of valuable tools. Tools that help you do it yourself when it comes to controlling your home energy use and budget. Leaving you free to be dad. This university is on a march to achieve our full potential. We help empower each other to dream big and do big. That's why I really love our slogan, Think and Do. You get these folks from NC State, they don't mind rolling up their sleeves and get their hands dirty. Companies want to hire NC State students. We make something impossible possible. We've been equipped to go out there and do great things and to change the world. It's in the DNA of the place. We're here to think and do the extraordinary. This portion of One with Wolfpack Football is presented by Coca-Cola Zero Sugar, bringing real Coke taste with zero sugar and zero calories to Wolfpack fans everywhere. Now I'm going to tell you, you guys played hard. You played hard. You didn't give up. <clears throat> and we didn't make some key plays. And there ain't no magic to that. Look at me. You got heart, and we got a lot of football left. A lot of football left. This team ain't broken. Not even close. And you want more for your season. Let's go get more then. Let's go get more. Because you got five left. Anybody gonna quit? <laughs> you know, I think muscle memory is created through repetition. You know, we say sometimes you're going to have to say something 10 to 15 times before they truly get it, you know. Uh, we, we had a speaker come in here one day and say they're going to get it all of a sudden over a long period of time, <laughs> you know, and I think that's real. I think, you know, you go out on the practice field and we say this, practice doesn't make perfect, it makes permanent. And so you're trying to create permanent winning habits with your players on and off the field. You know, the more detailed you are, the more precise you are in what you do, the more inches you're gaining. You've seen so many plays in college football where you're an inch away from scoring or an inch away from batting a ball down or hitting the quarterback that one inch earlier, he couldn't have thrown that pass, you know? And, and so those are precision things. Those are the, the minute details that you coach in and when players buy into that and they have the muscle memory to continually do that at the moment of truth, you're making a lot more plays on the field.